Hello, this is Austin from KJ Gaming Network. Today, we will be playing some SimCity with the new expansion pack, Cities of Tomorrow. And this is one of the newer maps that was in the recent update. So far, it actually seems kind of interesting because there I've just noticed there's two highways. Well, two entrances to the city. So, I'm just going to do a little planning out. What I think I would want to do is probably, let's see where the, um, can't click on this yet until we add on to the road. So our industrial, we could possibly do our industrial bit and right up here, but have it attached to this highway. Well, I'm starting to think that's going to cause traffic. What I was thinking of doing is possibly we can have it so um, residentials, all this giant third quarter space over here, probably keep something up here because it's attached to, uh, a tra uh, attached to the train track area, train, line, railroad, whatever you want to call it probably do industrial right here people will travel they'll basically have to go around this get on the highway just to get to the industrial area but eventually I would attach it to this which would be connected to the intercity unless this would be the intercity I think of this will be and this right here will be attached to the industrial which would be right over here so I'm just gonna go with that in mind and start planning out the roads Do I want to have it going straight down, or would I would rather have a curve to it? I guess I'll go straight down. I'm thinking about it. I think I will do this. I had this one great design in one of my uh, private games that I was in, or had, in a test server. It was actually kind of interesting on how I did it, I just don't remember how exactly I did plan it out exactly. So we'll go ahead and take out a couple of loans. Probably all we'll need. Go ahead and place this will be the residential area. Uh, we can do commercial along this side of the highway or the avenue, whichever you prefer calling it. Technically you could call it a highway because they did that update where you could do the bridges and the underground. So technically you could make a highway system, which I'm not really very good at it. I'm not really too good with it. Okay, so we got that done. This, you can't really relatively put anything right there. Okay. Anyways, I did mention right that I'm in a random game. I decided to join one because I'm kind of bored, or not really bored, but I'm dissatisfied just playing in private games with just me. I would have someone else control the rest of the region. So, since I got this set up, this will be the residential area, this over here will be the industrial. I guess I'll just go all the way up to the tip of this and place a road. Okay, that works for now. 
I'll go ahead and place in the residence, water, and some electricity so they don't decide to go ahead and leave right as the city has just became to life. Later on in the video, and maybe an episode next video, maybe, I may uh, show off what the neighboring cities have so far. So far, I really do enjoy Cities of Tomorrow. It's actually very fun. It's not really that much money compared to the other um, small expansion packs that add one or two things. It adds quite a bit for 30 US dollars. So I'm starting to wonder though if this will actually work. Will, will people have traffic problems? getting out onto this highway and going around here just to go to the industrial so I'm thinking that may help a little it will not create as much traffic up and down right here they'll just take the highway because it's a three lane or a four lane what is it a three lane two lane yeah two lane I have no yeah it's a three lane okay yeah so three lanes and they'll be able to take that rather than taking a small two to three lane but I, I guess I could eventually, eventually just drag out a line right here, underground or a bridge or whatever, and just put that right there, just so it's, it, it is connected. We'll just see how that plays out with our traffic problems. Go ahead and hit play on this. I'm gonna turn it to the slow speed at the moment. So I need to place the uh, utilities. Thinking of where I should place that up. Mm, that should work. Now let's see where our water systems are. Okay, I'll do this right here. Wind power plant. Yeah, this isn't going to play out well, I guess. Because I, I doubt this will actually take the highway just to come over here. Yeah, it's not going to. Okay, so in that case, I'll just go ahead and drag out that road. Like we were thinking about doing. So I can either do it like this. That won't work, okay. How about that? There we go. Took out another loan. Okay, now we have our electricity being produced along with water. Next thing I need to do is sewage, so I'm thinking about buying sewage control. There we go. watching them move in so at the moment I'm thinking maybe we could possibly change this general area on the left side into high wealth and the one on the right to medium wealth but I'm sure we'll expand eventually down here I want to play it out slow instead of rushing through trying to get all the things unlocked because that would just be sort of a disaster if you think about it, trying to get control nets and all this other stuff up So, we got our residential buildings layout, we got our commercial over here along the side. So I was thinking eventually we could add a bridge and add something over here in this area, which could probably be for our Cities of Tomorrow buildings, such as the Academy. I'll go ahead and place the Town Hall. Where do we want this at? 
That probably won't be that bad right there. But I'm going to add it over here. Hmm, we can already upgrade it. 6,000 residents. 